Hey guys, Golden Knight 27 going to be doing a discussion video for you all today on a topic that I had seen on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Amino app. Um, it's an app where Yu-Gi-Oh! players can gather together and just enjoy the game and the anime and everything all in one spot. Um, so what I had found was one of the one of the members of the community. He was asking whether or not. Solemn Strike or Grand Horn of Heaven was a better option when dueling. So just wanted to take a few minutes to go over this. I did respond to his question uh, in the comments section, but I figured I might as well do a video on it just because I feel that it's a very important topic just because you've got a major difference in cost of the card as far as the secondary market and as far as the card effects themselves, they are indeed different. So let's go ahead and start off with what Solemn Strike has to offer. So Solemn Strike states, when a monster would be special summoned or a monster effect is activated, pay 1500 life points, negate the summon or activation, and if you do, destroy that card. So this is a very awesome card, um, it's a card that I do like, um, I think it's a really good option in duels. Uh, so not only are you able to negate a special summon of a monster, you can also negate an activation of a uh, monster effect as well, um, as well as negate that activation of the effect. Where let's see what Grand Horn of Heaven has to offer. Grand Horn of Heaven. During your opponent's main phase, when they would special summon a monster, negate the summon, and if you do, destroy that monster. Then your opponent draws one card, then end the main phase. So what we see between the two is both can negate special summons which is awesome and I can see why people would think that Grand Horn of Heaven is an excellent substitution for Solemn Strike. I absolutely get it. It's a, uh, it is a decent alternative. Uh, so Solemn Strike, the one thing that it has over Grand Horn of Heaven is Solemn Strike. It doesn't have to be done during the main phase. It could be during any phase in which a special summon would happen or a monster effect would happen. It doesn't have to be an effect on the field. It could be in hand. It could be in graveyard. Whatever. Um, Grand Horn of Heaven, it has to be during the main phase, and sure it does end the main phase, and um, you don't pay any cost technically. Um, you do give your opponent one free card, which some people would think that that's a, a very minor cost, but in some decks that are very combo-centric, one card could essentially be your undoing. So sometimes giving your opponent that one card can make a very huge difference in a duel. So, it's really hard to say one over the other. It really depends on what you can afford. If you can absolutely get Solemn Strike, my pick would be Solemn Strike. But if you cannot, because um, they're still going for about $25 to $30 per card, I would say Grand Horn of Heaven is a good alternative. Um, these are about a dollar. Is it a great card? No. Um, but it does give you some kind of options to slow down your opponent's special summons and end their main phase. But there is one other card that I think had gotten forgotten in this equation by the um, person that played that had uh, posted this online, and that card is Solemn Warning, which in my opinion is a very excellent card. I still run this card. So here's what Solemn Warning has: when a monster would be summoned, or when a spell card, trap card, or monster's effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster. Pay 2,000 life points, negate the summoner activation, and destroy that card. So it's a very good in-between. Sure, the cost is about 500 points um, heavier than Solemn Strike. But what this offers is not only special summons, but also normal summons can be negated as well. Um, and if a monster effect is activated that allows you to special summon, this takes care of that also. So Solemn Warning is a, a really good really good third wheel in this equation and in this question so I personally I do have some Grand Horn of Heavens do I main deck any of them no um, not at all I don't play them in any of my current decks but that's only because I have Solemn Warnings heavily accessible I've got multiple copies of Solemn Warnings so they're currently have one so I've got one in almost every deck that I play frequently um, Solemn Strike I do have two of now since I have pulled it in my most recent video and I in my deck that I'm currently running for this particular format which is Heroes um, two strikes and one warning for me that's that's an excellent an excellent mix so Solemn Warning never hurts Solemn Strike is excellent Grand Horn of Heaven is good 
but solid morning is better. So, guys, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see me do more discussion videos like this or car comparisons, certainly go ahead and attack that like button and also leave comments with your opinions. Alright guys, so until next time, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.